Octavius Caesar by marrying Caesar's sister, Octavia. The messenger who brought that information to Cleopatra learned why it is sometimes dangerous to be the bearer of bad tidings, as the Egyptian queen terrorized and beat him for bringing her the news. But now Cleopatra's curiosity gets the better of her. She wants to know more about her rival, so she sends for the frightened messenger again. <laughs> to come. <laughs> go to, go to. Come hither, sir. Good Majesty, Herod of Jewry dare not look upon you but when you are well pleased. <laughs> that Herod's head I'll have. But how? When Antony is gone, through whom I might command it? Come thou near. Most gracious Majesty. Didst thou behold Octavia? I, great queen. Where? Madam, in Rome. I, I looked her in the face and saw her led between her brother and Mark Antony. <laughs> Is she as tall as me? She, she is not, madam. Didst hear her speak? Is she shrill-tongued or low? Madam, I heard her speak. She is low. That's not so good. He cannot like her long. Like her? Oh, Isis, it is impossible. I think so, Charmian. Dull of tongue and dwarfish. <laughs> what majesty is in her gait? Remember, if there thou lookst on, majesty. Uh, she creeps. Uh, her motion and her station are as one. Uh, she shows a body rather than a life, a, a statue than a breather. Is this certain? For I have no observance. Three in Egypt cannot make better note. He's very knowing, I do perceive. <laughs> There's nothing in her yet. The fellow has good judgment. Excellent. Guess at her years, I prithee. Madam, she was a widow. <gasps> widow, Charmian, hark! Uh, and I do think she's thirty. Bearest thou her face in mind? Is long or round? Round even to faultiness. For the most part, too, they are foolish that are so. Her hair, of what color? Brown, madam, uh, and her forehead as low as she would wish it. <laughs> There's gold for thee. Thou must not take my former sharpness ill. I will employ thee back again. I find thee most fit for business. Go make thee ready. Our letters are prepared. Proper man. Indeed, he is so. I repent me much that so I harried him. Why, methinks by him, this creature's no such thing. Nothing, madam. The man hath seen some majesty, and should know. Hath he seen majesty? Isis else defend and serving you so long. I have one thing more to ask him yet, good Charmian. But tis no matter. Thou shalt bring him to me where I will write. All may be well enough. I warrant you, madam. <laughs> Thank you. 